when we have created our online store with Shopify where we sell Japan iTunes cards, we have this problem of not knowing how to sell a dig digital product because Shopify alone could not cater it. Not only that, since we are selling a prepaid card, we needed to make sure that every digital file that we send should be unique. As we all know, once a prepaid card has been used, the code becomes invalid. Most of the online store owners who sell prepaid cards like ours still do the sending of the code manually. We find it very inefficient for two reasons. First, we need to always check our online store for new orders. If you go to a place where there's no internet connection, then we couldn't process the order. Second, we don't want to make our customers wait. We want to process their request as soon as we receive the order. If in case I'm not checking my online store, then the customer doesn't have a choice but to wait for me to send them the code. We wanted to make everything in our store automatic and we found the solution to our problem in the form of an app called SendAll. To install SendAll, log into your Shopify admin account, go to Apps, then click Visit the App Store button found at the center of the page. At the App Store, type Send All at the search bar. Then hit the Enter key. Then click the Get App button once you find the Send All app. Then you'll be directed to the Send All sign-in page where they ask you for the type of plan that you want to purchase. They have four types of plans which you can take depending on the size of your store and the features that you need. As you can see on this page, Send All gives you a 30-day free trial so you can test their product and services before finally making a contract with them. You can try it any of their plans for free within 30 days. For the purpose of this demonstration, let me choose the basic plan. To sign up for the free trial, they'll only be needing your name, email address, password, and country. They don't even ask for your bank or credit account information, which is really nice. Let me just fill out this section and I'll get back to you later. Right after signing up, You'll be directed to your Shopify admin account where it basically ask, asks for your permission to install the Send All app to your Shopify store. Click the Install Send All button since basically this is what we, we wanted. After installing Send All, your Send All admin account will pop up which then provides you a three-step instruction to complete the installation. As you can see, Step 1 has been fulfilled by successfully associating your Shopify store with SendAll. Step 2 of the process is optional. It's basically asking if you want to add your SendAll download link to Shopify. If you're okay with SendAll sending a separate email containing the download link of your digital product, then you can simply skip this step. If you skip this step, your customer will receive 3 confirmation messages from Shopify and an email from Send All containing the download link. So that's a total of four emails. Now, if you don't want the customer to receive so many emails, then you can choose to copy the download link on the following pages. On the thank you page, or that's right after the customer submits the payment. On the order email, that's the confirmation email that Shopify sends to the customer to confirm the completion of the order request, or on the account of the customer which they set up when they purchased a product from your store. Let's say you want the download link to be included on the confirmation email that Shopify sends to your customers. Then click the second option, then, then copy the code on this box, then go to your Shopify admin account, go to settings, then notifications, then look for the order confirmation email template. Click 
the second tab which says HTML email then paste the send all code which you have copied at the bottom of this Shopify HTML email template click Save then go back to send all admin page after you have added the code to Shopify HTML template you can optionally turn off send all emails to turn off the email you need to contact send all send all support by sending them an email at support at sendall.com indicating your request you also need to attach a copy of Shopify order email showing the download link present so they can process your request now we can add a product now let me show you how we are able to achieve sending unique iTunes card codes to customers automatically without the need for us to send codes manually as we receive an order. At the Send All Admin page, click the Products link found at the left side of the screen, then click the button that says Add Product. When asked for the type of product that we want to add, choose the first option, which is Product. Now, here's the main trick. For the product type, choose software. Choosing a digital file would not allow us to send a unique link for each card code. If you are selling, for example, an ebook where you don't need to worry about sending a unique file to each customer, you can, you can add product using digital file as the product type. Then, Choose the Shopify product that you want to be linked with Send All. The product name and price will be automatically populated by the system after the link to Shopify product has been filled. You only need to choose from the list on the drop down. Click the drop down menu for the attach file field, then choose Enter URL from the options. This is actually not very important, but you couldn't proceed if you don't fill out this field. Anything that you enter here will be sent to the customer together with the link to the unique card code. What I do here is I paste a URL of a certain page from my Shopify store where it talks about how the customer can use the product. You can also paste here a link to the FAQ page of your online store. It depends on you. It doesn't really matter. Now, for the license type, choose the second option from list. Then, instead of entering the license key on this box, we paste the unique link for each card code. You should paste one link per line. Make sure that the links that you paste as license key are the links that correspond to the Shopify product. So you can visualize what I'm talking about. Let me open my Dropbox account. Dropbox is basically a cloud file storage. Let's say this folder is where I save the photos of each prepaid card code. The individual files on the number one product folder are images of my prepaid card code. What I'm going to do is to get the link of this file by right clicking it and choosing the share Dropbox link option. Doing so would copy the URL to my clipboard. Then I go back to send all. And paste the link on the license key box. I'll get the URL of the other remaining files and paste one link per line. Then, after pasting all of the links, click this Create Product button. What happens is, as an order is processed, the license key, which is the unique Dropbox link, will be deleted in sequence from the first link in the list to the last, depending on the volume of the order. 
The number of license key that will be deleted depends on the volume of the order. Let's say, if a customer orders one prepaid card, the first Dropbox link will be sent to his email, then will be removed from this list afterwards. When a second customer orders two prepaid cards, the next two license key or the next two Dropbox link will be sent to the customer, then it will be removed from the list right after the order has been processed and completed. After all of these licenses or download links have been consumed, you go back to the add product and do the same process again of adding a product, choosing, soft, choosing the software, and add more download links. So that is how our system works. Now you're ready to sell your own digital products just like how we do it.